Hey guys, Vizello here. So I've made quite a few videos on bezel of smartphones. I've made videos on the Doji Mix 4, the Huawei P20, the iPhone 10, the Vivo Apex, and probably many more in the future. However, today I'm going to be talking about something a little bit different, and that is not a bezel of smartphone, but rather a bezel less tablet. What I mean by that is that would a bezel less tablet make sense? We have bezel less smartphones, so why not have a tablet? that has basically no screen, like no bezels on it. It's just 100% screen and the display isn't being limited by anything. Well, I'm gonna get into in this video if that would make sense and also if there are any options out there. However, before I get into this, if you have your own thoughts on this topic, then please leave them in the comments. But anyways, let's just get into this. So if you go onto Google right now and look up bezel-less tablets, you'll probably find this tablet. This is the Hisense Vida or Vide mirror. And as you can see, it looks a lot like something like the Doji Mix or the Xiaomi Mi Mix. It has the bezel at the bottom and just a f like tiny bits of side bezels around the sides. And you can actually get this right now for around 160 US dollars. But from what I can tell, you can only get them on websites such as banggood.com and I don't think you can get them on Amazon. Also, they're not really popular. On banggood.com, they've only sold five of them, so that's not really that great. However, if you look around, you'll see that that's really your only option. I don't think that there is another tablet out there that's bezel-less. And the main reason for that is because Android, which is most likely what this these bezel-less tablets are going to be on, no longer actually supports tablets because Android tablets have been doing terribly. The iPad lineup has completely eviscerated all Android tablets. And that's why in Android P, there's no support for tablets anymore. So yeah, iPad has completely taken over. So when it comes to bezel-less tablets, the only really option in the future is just going to be from Apple. So would Apple release a bezel-less iPad? Well, I think, yeah, it definitely makes sense. Apple has released the iPhone 10, and it's their only bezel-less product ever. So Apple is probably going to be following up on that sort of line soon. However, I don't think that it would be exactly easy to do that because tablets are meant to be held with the bezels just so that you can rest your fingers on them. You don't hold... Well, most of the time, you don't hold a tablet like a smartphone. However, if Apple were to release a new iPad and then add some sort of technology where it could like sense when you have your fingers on the tablets or the screen, then that issue might be fixed. However, it's hard to tell if Apple would do this. It just, it kind of seems really bizarre for Apple to release a new iPad with a notch. Or something like that. I just, I can't see it. However, it does make sense for Apple to go somewhat in that direction. But not with like a notch or something. That just, I can't see that from Apple. Maybe, but like, I, I, Apple tries to make their products look really elegant. And that doesn't really look too great. At least in my opinion. I don't really like the, the how the bezels look. I just, I would prefer something that's designed more to be an iPad, not like a just a giant iPhone. I know that iPads are kind of meant to be like giant iPhones, but just this is getting way too confusing. I just, I just, I don't think that's how it's going to look. If Apple were to release one, when would I expect it to come out? Well, I would say probably 2019. I think 2018 is a bit too early, but it might come out 2018. I can't predict the future. However, before I wrap this up, I found one more product that's absolutely ridiculous. So on Indiegogo, Indiegogo is different than Kickstarter. On Kickstarter, you have to have actual proof of product. You can't just start a campaign. And Indiegogo, you don't have to have that. On Indiegogo, there was this campaign for something called the Ubu Tab. This was supposedly on a tablet that would run Ubuntu, which there's pretty much nothing coming out for Ubuntu. Like, Ubuntu is a Linux-based offering system, and Linux base like smartphones and all that aren't popular at all so i don't know why they chose ubuntu however the ubu tab is a apparently it was supposed to be a one terabyte like ubuntu tablet for media lovers and apparently as you can see it's got pretty thin bezels but just by ch you can see in this trailer it just no there's no way i'm sorry but this trailer looks like, you know those websites where you can, 
like have like that writing animation write stuff down and it's got stock music in the background i just no there's no way this was a real thing and it got 27 almost twenty eight thousand dollars. like really for <laughs> i can't believe this as you can probably guess this project was closed because this nikki wartish who started the project probably realized that he actually has to do this now because people are backing it and this was started almost three years ago but this just makes no sense there's so much so many things that were just so fishy and made absolutely no sense whatsoever and i don't know why so many people backed it but um yeah so that was a thing um yeah, I don't don't expect any Ubuntu tablets in the future at all. I'm just I'm sorry. Not even a Bezels tablet. There's just no way. Also, the Ubu tab website that they put in the description actually doesn't exist. So yeah. But anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then please leave your thoughts on this video in the comments. And also if you want to check out my social medias, I'll have them linked in the description. And see you.